Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. 17 days remain until kickoff in Minneapolis, and after a, another fall camp practice this morning, offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield met with the media to review last Saturday's scrimmage in Memorial Stadium. The coach was asked about the QB, Jeff Sims, and how he performed over the weekend, and here's what he had to say. Uh, steady. I mean, it, was it his, his best day? It wasn't his best day, but it was far from his worst day. And, you know, the way Jeff does, he just goes about each day and just wakes up, has a strategy, attacks it, and gets better, tries to get better every single day. So he came back, you know, yesterday, he got in the film room, had good meetings. Uh, he's, he's becoming such a, uh, a leader on our offense just from not just, you know, do what he does, but just a vocal leader as well. So come out today, had a, you know, attack today. So he's in a good spot. Coming up on the show, we'll hear more from Coach Satterfield and Coach McGuire and analyze how that Husker offense is coming along. Keeping with college football, the preseason AP Top 25 poll has been revealed today. The back-to-back -back national champion Georgia Bulldogs hold on to the number one spot, receiving 1,572 points. Following closely is Michigan, then Ohio State, Alabama, and LSU round out the top five. Other Big Ten schools making the list are Penn State at 7, Wisconsin at 19, and Iowa sneaking into the 25th spot. With international Husker news, earlier today it was announced that Nebraska men's basketball senior Keisei Tomonaga was named to Japan's final 12-man roster for the upcoming FIBA World Cup. Tomonaga has been training with the national team since June in preparation for the event, which begins on Friday, August 25th, and joins a handful of NCAA players on their national teams for the event. It will mark the third straight World Cup that has featured a Husker basketball player as Ty Webster of New Zealand competed in the 2014 and 2019 editions of the Basketball World Cup. Another Husker playing for their international team is men's hoops forward Rank Mask, who helped Netherlands improve to 1-1 one and one at the FIBA Olympic pre-qualifying tournament. Mass totaled eight points, seven rebounds, and a steal in 17 minutes of work to help secure a 78-76 win over Belgium. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Two to the near side, one on the far side. Turn, give it off to Grant. He picks his way inside the 45, bounces to the outside. 40, 35, 30, foot race now. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back to Van Trees. Play actions. Gets hit as he throws. Pass to hit it down the end zone. Buford goes up and makes the interception at the one yard line. Marquise Buford's second pick of the game. And it was created by some pressure on the quarterback, Van Trees. Red, fed left. Lindsay gets it through. They stay with it. And Krause muscles it through a double Buckeye block. Becca Williams, Spring Lake, Texas, serves back right. Nice pass. Quick attack. Becca, Alec, Big Red, kaboom! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Bonjour, <laughs> Jessica. You learned some French, did, I did. you? I did. I've been in Canada for the last 10 days. Yes, we sang O Canada on the show. A, uh, yeah, <laughs> bonjour. I mean, that, uh, I've never been to the, well, I hadn't been to Canada, period. And so this was a trip that was the eastern half of the country. Started in Montreal, went to Quebec. Uh, learned a little trivia. Quebec used to have an NHL franchise. They were the Quebec Nordiques. They left in 95, and some of our folks out in the panhandle will know this. They left to go to Denver. They're now the Colorado Avalanche. So wow. they left Quebec. They're very bitter about that, by the way. Really? They don't bring it up up there. It's kind of like Seattle and the Thunder. Yeah. They, they don't want to recognize the Thunder anymore. So, but 80% of that uh, town, they speak French. So I, I heard a lot of French conversations. Do you eat any days. French food? I ate some French food, um, and they are also very proud of their maple. 
had maple coffee, maple had a maple beer. It was pretty good. So nice. Uh, but thanks to you, wonderful job the last week and a half. We had some fun. You did. I almost didn't come back. I thought, well, they're fine. I'm taking that a week off. <laughs> we uh, had JB on. That got uh, a little, a little wild. And then uh, of course, Searles was in, and we talked food and. He at one time apologized for letting it go too far off the rails, but, you know, we, we managed. I heard Cole's jokes have gotten better. I mean, that, it's, it's, everything's just kind of turning up roses. So. Cole, would you agree with that? I don't know if better or just different. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you for doing that. It was, I had a great trip. I'm refreshed. I'm ready. I'm ready to get after this. We are not far from kickoff for the Huskers and the Gophers at the end of the month. And obviously, volleyball is even closer. They'll have their red-white scrimmage at the Devaney Center on Saturday, and they open their season on the 25th uh, with games at the Devaney Center the 25th, 26th, and 27th. So volleyball is really close to being here. But uh, I was uh, kind of thinking about that, too, when I was talking to players today about, oh, we're two weeks away, but um, we're, what, one week away from being game week because yeah. they will start it earlier. So with media availability and everything, that the way that they kept, keep the schedule going, it's going to be next week is going to be game week. Matt Rule's pregame press conference for Minnesota will be next Friday. Yeah. So 11 days from now is when his pregame first press conference for the season is here. The players have moved out of the norms. Yes. They have left that. They were ready for that. I don't think they were sad about that. No, I don't think they were either. I do think they had some fun, and uh, most everybody talked about how much good came out of it, and they understood, you know, the purpose of it. And I think they bonded over uh, a lot of – jokes that were played on coaches and they played some cards apparently and just you know the the grind of that that it is and jeremiah went into a, a big kind of spiel about that about you know at the nfl and training camp it, it's not like everybody's on the same playing field right you're on the same page you're all staying in the same rooms and you're all living this dorm life and it's not like you know, uh, whoever the star quarterback is is staying in some luxury suite. Nope, he's doubling up with a, yeah. a guy sharing a dorm room, too. And so he said it's really good for camaraderie, and, and so he, he was pretty pumped that they were doing that. Campus is starting to come alive. We're a week away from classes beginning. I think the big sorority rush has started. I saw a lot of people walking on the east side of campus today. So life is popping back up in Lincoln, and I think we're all ready for that to, to get cranked up. Here's what we have on the program tonight. Marcus Satterfield met with the media today. We'll have a practice report with him here in a few minutes. Also, Garrett McGuire, the Huskers wide receivers coach, met with the media. We'll play some clips of that in hour number two. The latest podcast, Kicking Back with the Cooks, is being dropped. I, it may, Maybe it's already out. Sometime tonight it's being dropped. We'll play you a snippet of that with Lauren and John uh, in the second hour of the program as well. And, as always, we want you to be a part of this at 402-413-2400. Well, since Jessica and Jeremiah were with you on Friday, there has been some news, significant news uh, for Oscar football, and that was Xavier Betts leaving the team. Uh, I think, in essence, I think he's retired. Uh, Matt Rural made the comment at his press gathering Saturday that is that Xavier said his heart wasn't in it. Uh, disappointing. He put in so much work. Yeah. Uh, the 20 hours that he had to pass in the spring semester to become eligible academically to do all of that. Then he, I know he suffered a concussion earlier in the camp. And when I hear, one, that he had the concussion, and two, that his heart's not in it, my thought, Jessica, is I don't know that Xavier loves the physicality of football. And if you don't, and if you're worried about being hurt, or you're not going to make it. Football's a tough, tough sport. I mean, you're, you're outside that locker room after every game. I mean, those guys are beat up and banged up after games. And I just, if your heart's not in it, and that's what Xavier told the coaches, you better not stay. You better find something else to do. Yeah, I mean, it's really sad. I just had that conversation with him in the summer. He just seems so excited and, and grateful and happy and it, this time is not very fun at times you know and I'm not going to speak for him and and what his decision process was and what ultimately was what pushed him away from it but um, it's it's sad because you, you thought like oh what a great story this is he found his way back he seemed to be really loving it but again I mean all signs pointed in the spring and then in the summer when I chatted with him about that he was loving it and and enjoyed being back on the team but you never know what someone is going through behind closed doors I just hope that he's okay and gonna be okay and I know that this coaching staff they're still checking up on him and it's not like he's gone and no one's 
making sure he's okay. I know that they really cared about him deeply and will stay in touch and hopefully, um, you know, he, everything is, is all good and he'll find what he loves. It's hurtful from a standpoint that that's a position, and Matt Rule has said this a couple times. He goes, hey, we all know going into this, the camp that wide receiver was one of our thinner spots on the team, and Marcus Washington can't stay healthy right now. That's concerning. You have Billy Kemp, who you love. I think he's an, an ace wide receiver for this team. And now you're going to need one or two of those freshmen that are going to have to get ready and be ready to play here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, you and I were out there one time, uh, and just in, an incredible play. Betts was with his speed, a guy that could take the top off the offense, yes, uh, off of the defense. And so you, you lose that in him, and, and he's a bigger body guy. And so I think that hurts. I think losing him in that room hurts. But I do think with him being out, it's allowed for a couple of guys to emerge. And Alex Bullock is having a heck of a camp. I mean, I was out there one night. when They practiced at night and went out there after the show and watched him make – several plays and someone told me he was the one of the MVPs of the practice the night before and so you know I think he's emerging and stepping up and, and feeling really confident he met with the media today you don't do that if you're not doing things right they're not going to send you out there to talk to him and so I know they're really really happy about him and and Billy Kemp but I know that they really like a couple of those freshman wide receivers as well so look out for a couple of those guys I think um, I watched Jalen Lloyd make an incredible play the other day too and Jaden Doss they've mentioned his name a couple of times and then Malachi is certainly in the mix as well the young man from right here in Lincoln but it is a concern and then if you listen to coach Rural's after Saturday's scrimmage that it was not a good day for the offense I'm not surprised by that usually at this stage the defense is ahead of the offense uh, but you hope that you see you hope that you see them respond they'll have another big scrimmage I think next this coming Saturday you hope that that's a much better day for the offense but I'm not shocked that the defense is ahead of the offense right now. I'm not either. And this is going to be a team that I think they they want to rely on the defense. They want the defense to lead the way. They want um, it to be about the defense. And that's what he did at Baylor. Um, you know, it was a – they relied heavily on that defense. They played really great defense. And then they ran the ball. And um, time management, it wasn't – the offense also helped the defense out a lot, which sometimes you don't necessarily see. So I, I'm not surprised that – defense is ahead and and I think they it's pretty typical that at this point the defense kind of knows all of the offensive plays and um, the defense still kind of throwing in some wrinkles too so but I think it's it definitely by this point the defense usually has the upper hand it's not a real happy head coach Saturday after the scrimmage he talked about we had procedure penalties we were late breaking the huddle a couple of times they missed some kicks uh, I think that he was not real and I'm you know what? I'm glad I hear that because, boy, it seems like, and Husker fans know this to be true, that it seems like camp after camp after camp, we would hear great practice, great practice, great practice, and then you get to the games and you're like, well, it doesn't look real good. So I, I kind of find it refreshing that Matt Rule calls some guys out and says, wasn't very good today. It's got to get better. We got to make kicks. We got to do this. I kind of like that. That's yeah, I mean, that's what he preaches. That's what this coaching staff preaches. I mean, and you got to stack your days together, and it's, um, you know, I think he's going to let them know if they don't meet the standard for any given day. Just because you practiced good yesterday doesn't give you the opportunity. You can't just slack off and not get better right? and build off of what you did the day before. And so if you're not doing things right, if you're not, you know, um, building off of that, if you're not changing and learning from the mistakes you made the day before, that's a problem because it's okay. It's You don't have to be perfect, but when you make those mistakes you better learn from them and and if not he's gonna let you know about it he's not gonna sugarcoat things that's for sure loved it I loved hearing it I mean uh, the, uh, the honesty was really refreshing to hear from coach I think we've kind of come to expect that out of him uh, in just his short time as Nebraska's head football coach we won't hear from him he did meet with the media Saturday he is set to meet with the media tomorrow so we'll get another update from him tomorrow night on the program about what he has seen from the team. They had the scrimmage on Saturday. Sunday was an off day. That was kind of the get out of the dorms day. But Marcus Satterfield, and I don't think I have this clip pulled for the next segment, but he did talk about how Jeff Sims was in the office yesterday, even on the off day, breaking down the scrimmage video. You love seeing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of guys did that. I mean, I chatted with Isaiah uh, Garcia Castaneda today. He he didn't get to do the scrimmage because he was graduating. Right. And he went back and watched the film. So I think that's being instilled in, you know, when I talked to Gus Felder earlier this summer, he had, he had told a story about 
chief boarders and, and taking some of those younger linebackers under his wing, and they were up there when they weren't didn't have to be uh, watching film and going through things. And so I think that's something that's being instilled. And not necessarily something that, I mean, I know everything comes from the head coach down, but I think a lot of these position coaches really, really stress that. And then that's being really um, taken seriously, and they, they're buying into that with each position group. So everybody's kind of has their own messaging. It's, it's kind of how I'm getting a feel for it, a sense of it when I talk to these players. And so I think it's definitely being instilled from, it's at the top, but then I think these position coaches are saying, hey, get in there, you got to watch this film. So uh, that's kind of the weekend. In, in a, in a, it was a closed door scrimmage, so there was no reporters on hand to, to watch the scrimmage. Uh, but you're only allowed. This is crazy to me. The NCAA only allows you two full scale scrimmages. And you can't, I, why, why do they care? I mean, I I don't know why you care. How many times a team wants to scrimmage? But we we have a long list of things we don't agree with in the NCAA. But why do yeah. you care if they scrimmage three or four times in a fall? I. Who knows? Who knows? I, I, again, I understand the safety. When you do all-out scrimmage, you probably are putting yourself more at risk for injuries. I, I get that, but it is a physical sport. It's also mind-blowing that they don't allow volleyball to practice more than they do. And yep. th there's a lot of things we could get into. Yep. It would take uh, up all this time for this next <laughs> segment. <Yep. laughs> all right, so that's uh, what we have on our mind tonight. 402-413-2400. That's number to be a part of the program with a call or a text. Our hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. All right, we're back with our practice report for the night. Marcus Satterfield, the offensive coordinator, met with the media today. We'll get his thoughts next. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. Today we have two very special guests on our program. Introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For new Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Ooh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip. Works for me. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Do you need to relocate to a different city or state but don't know where to start? If so, put the power of BHA Real Estate to work for you. BHA will set you up with the best real estate agent in your new town. Have a house to sell first? No problem. They can assist you with that as well. With over 70 years of experience, BHA has a network to ensure one of the biggest transactions in life will be handled with care that you deserve and the service that you can trust. Give BHA Real Estate a call today for all your relocation needs. 308-324-5581. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. 
See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveealesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95. And delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. The only designated R1 Research University in Nebraska, UNL's innovations power economic growth, precision ag production, tech breakthroughs, and future leaders in Nebraska. With the highest graduation rates and highest median earnings for recent grads of any public university in Nebraska, UNL is doing big things for our state. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See Shelter Agents Jeff Bond or Reed Duvall in Lincoln for a free insurance review. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you here on a Monday night, new week ahead of us here as we are rounding the bend on our summer programming and getting ready for an upcoming school year. We got volleyball, the red white scrimmage on the air on the network on Saturday, and we're inside of three weeks now for Husker football kicking off at the Twin Cities. Another practice session today for the Huskers after an off day yesterday. That leads us into tonight's practice report. The 1890 Initiative presents the Nebraska Football Practice Report. We're talking about practice. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. So offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield, the first to take the podium today. And we heard Matt Rule after the scrimmage on Saturday say that it was a great day for the defense, not a very good day for the offense. And then obviously the news came out over the weekend about Xavier Betts leaving the team and slims up that wide receiver room a bit. Here's the coach talking about the situation currently at wideouts. We definitely need to build some depth in that room. You know, we got guys coming back off some injuries that will help us. I think it's a great opportunity. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to, to see what these young kids can do. We got some young wideouts that are very talented and explosive, and they're going to get a chance. Uh, you know, if they prove it in practice, they can do it. They can do it in games. So they're going to get a chance early to show what they can do. 
So, Jessica, how about those freshman wide receivers? He was pressed more about which one of those players have kind of caught his eye here early in camp. Uh, we're pleased with all of them because, you know, they're freshmen, first of all. This is a whole new ball game. Like, they think that they're, they've been playing football for the last couple of years, and then they get here and they're like, it's a total different animal. So they're all, you know, we're very pleased with all of them. But, you know, you look at things like Jalen Lloyd and Doss, those guys have, have made some plays and uh, been able to go out there and function and, you know, from a physical standpoint and an athletic standpoint, make some plays and own their own. You just can't coach speed either, you no. know. And those freshmen certainly have the speed. We know it. We've seen it. We've talked about it since they've signed, and we know that that's what this coaching staff wants. And so if you're needing someone that you can run out there that a deep defensive back just does not have the speed to be able to contain, uh, those are the, to me, that's, that's in that freshman class. So I think they got a couple guys there that they're really excited about. But, yeah, that's been the position that we've had circled from the start, right? And so I know they're battling it out, and they've got some other guys that are stepping up and, and with the injuries and everything else. But, um, you know, that's, that's still to me a position that I will – Jeremiah and I did the positions that you need to see before – which ones you feel most confident in and which ones you need to see. And that was both of ours for both of us because, I mean, it, you know, we got to see it on Saturday. You do. You don't, you don't have many proven commodities there. Kemp, you do, and we're going to get to him here in a minute. But outside of Marcus Washington, yes, but as we've de- we talked about in the opening segment, he's been hurt. And he got, had a hand thing that kept him out a couple of days, and he came back, and now he's dealing with a leg injury. And so it's just he, another guy that you need to get him on the field, uh, particularly early in the season. These freshmen, I think, are going to be really good. But what can you get out of them weeks one, two, three, as they kind of learn their way into it? That's, that's the other side of it. How quickly can they adapt to this? Yeah, because it's a whole other ball game, right? Sure is. <laughs> sure is. All right, um, moving on. Let's talk about Saturday's scrimmage uh, where Matt Rule said it was a great day for the defense, not so much for the offense. Marcus Satterfield asked about what was, what were your main concerns coming out of that scrimmage? Uh, the, just the operation. The operation. We got in the stadium. Those young kids got in the stadium for the first time. Just get in the stadium, a play clock, real officials, getting plays on and off the field, get personnel groupings on and off the field. Uh, at times early on, we struggled with that in the scrimmage. But they, you know, they, they calmed down and they kept chopping away. I told them, you know, it's easy just to kind of lock up right there and not be able to perform. But they got better as the scrimmage went on and made some plays later. That's good. And again, how are you going to build off of that yeah. when you get out there for the next scrimmage? Because they can't. I mean, and it's also <laughs> this time you're just so sick of playing each other and then and doing the same things. But then when you get a chance to actually kind of simulate game like Phil, like you can have little emotions. And um, sometimes it snowballs, especially if you're talking about things with the offensive line. If that you know, sometimes you can get a lot of guys off and, and that causes some problems. But yeah, the big thing is just learn from it and they got better as they went along and now we'll see how they respond the next time they get out there for a scrimmage. You know, you can do all the practice stuff, but then you get, you put them in game type situations. Yeah. It's different. It, yeah. I mean, if you're out on the practice field and you're trying to line up a play, you take your time and they aren't usually running the play clock out there, but you do a scrimmage and you have officials and all that, then you run it like a game and it does change the rhythm of it all. Well, and it the does. coaches are a lot of times out there on the field Correct. during practices, but if they're simulating games, they're probably not. They're, Sidelines. they're probably doing how they're going to do it in a game. And so it's just a, a little, quite a bit different than what you're used to out there. One thing we, we really haven't talked much about, maybe you and Jeremiah, maybe you got into it last week, is what does the depth look like at quarterback? Jeff's got the job. Jeff Sims is the starter. I mean, everybody has admitted that. But how's it going between Shubba and Heinrich uh, as they make their way through camp? Coach Satterfield was asked that very question here this morning. It's cool with them. I mean, our quarterback rooms really, you know, the meetings and stuff have been great. Uh, they compete every single day. Each one of them have different skill sets and different traits that they bring to the table. So, you know, you can, you can game plan things and you can have plays ready for them to be able to attack a defense, you know, maximizing what they do and what they do best. So uh, we have, we're not ready to really name a number two guy right now, but, you know, we feel that both of them could go into a game and help us win. We heard uh, Coach Rule talking about, too, I mean, just the step that Chubba Purdy has made and, and settling in and understanding. But it is, it's neat to see that those guys are really close. And, I, you know, it's Jeff Sims is a big part of that, you know, making sure that everybody stays together because it is, it's going to take a room. And um, I also like hearing that they're going to maybe have some plays in place for if one of their numbers are called, any three of them, sure. that if they're needed at any point, that there's going to be things that they can do with those guys that 
are unique to their skill set. We've heard this staff brag a lot in the offseason about what an athlete Heinrich is. Yeah. That he, they've got, and when you have somebody that's an elite athlete, you try to figure out a way to utilize that at some point. I'm not saying Chubb is not a good, because I think Chubb is a pretty good athlete, but I don't think he's quite as good an athlete as Heinrich. Yeah, I mean, I think they both, again, they have different skill sets yep. that they're, that they're better at. I think Chubb probably has a better arm and can yep. throw it better. And Heinrich is more of an athlete that can maybe do a little bit more of what Sims does with his feet. But he looks massive in pads. Heinrich does. He's he does. so big. He, I mean, him and Jeff both don't look like they're, they should be in the quarterback room. I got to think Heinrich's tipping 240. I mean, he's really stout. Yeah, he's, um, he's big. But it doesn't seem to slow him down he still looks athletic when even though he's got a little bit more bulk yeah yeah and he's he's tall and so is sims and so they're hard to get down to the ground too yeah all right uh last thing from from coach satterfield he was asked about since you got with this group in january and went through spring ball and the summer conditioning stuff and now two weeks into the camp where have you made the biggest strides with this team this is an interesting answer I think just as a just a brotherhood and a camaraderie on offense, I think there's a lot of trust uh, with our offensive line. I think there's a lot of trust that's developing with Jeff. I think Jeff's developing a lot of trust with you know certain players on the team that he can trust to get open at certain times of the game. So I think just the brotherhood and the camaraderie is just you know you see it growing every day, and the guys are making an attempt to to make it grow. It's not you know they're not fighting it. They're out there trying to you know learn other people's names, learn things about families like. You know, Coach Rule in team meeting stuff at night challenges them. You know, learn to you know talk to other people. Don't just sit with the same people all the time. So just the brotherhood, I think, is improving daily. And that has come up in questions that I've asked, just even without even asking that directly. That they have they've talked about the closeness of this team and how you know the the things that they did off the field leading up to this point has really made a difference. And it's it's changed their perspective a lot of when they got on the field with each other, and it's just so important. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've I've seen that as well, and um, it's it's been really neat to see how close these guys have gotten, and then that's that's translated. That also is fascinating too to hear him saying uh, talking about building that trust with the quarterbacks and wide receiver, and who's he going to rely on? Because you always every quarterback has that one or two guys that they just know where to be or they're or they're going to be where they need to be that they can trust them in any given situation and i think i've seen that the couple times that i've been there some of those relationships that jeff's been able to build which is also a big key i mean we could sit here and talk about the wide receiver room but how how comfortable is jeff throwing the ball to him that's ultimately what it is which that's what what you worry about a little bit right now with some injuries and now a, a departure from the team has he been able to get adequate work with wide receiver x or wide receiver y, whoever it might be that's what the next couple weeks are big because now these are probably the guys you're going to go battle with you better start really getting into rhythm with them yeah and i think they did a lot of extra work uh in the off season but it's just it's so different when you got the the full pads on and you're going sure up against is. a full defense and so yeah you, you hope with a guy like marcus washington who's played a lot of football and and we heard Casey talking about him I mean he he does the right things when he's out there on the field and he's such a competitor I don't worry about him as much missing that chemistry that will come with Sims just and again he just does all the things that a lot of times the wide receivers it's hard to get them to do he does the dirty work that doesn't always show up in the stat sheet and that in turn earns a lot of trust from coaches and quarterbacks that want to get him the ball and reward him for those things and hey i wouldn't and we heard matt rural kind of allude to it saturday and we heard a couple of the coaches today kind of mention too that just because you're not a wide receiver right now doesn't mean you can't go there at some point in time i mean bonner could shift back out there you if you wanted to matt rural even dropped your guy emmett johnson is a guy that's caught their eyes and he even said Emmett could line up out there. He's a good enough athlete. We could bounce him out there and line up outside. He's so quick. He, I've seen him make a couple of really good plays too. Um, you know, cots that you, if whatever way you can get your playmakers on the field, you do it right. And I yep. think that's what this offense kind of does is it allows you to move around and do different things that you can get your playmakers on the field wherever and however you can. If there's not room for Emmett in the running back room right now, what other way can we get him involved? And I think that's what this, what they, they're they finding out throughout the fall camp is or who are the playmakers that we got to find something for them to be able to impact this offense. Well, if you're, let's say, and I don't, there's no depth chart yet, but let's say Emmett's the fourth back 
Well, maybe he's your third slot guy or something. So maybe you find a way to just not doing any good standing on the sidelines. Absolutely. Get yeah. Him on the field. Yeah. And I think they, they started to see some of those and some of the guys, hey, we got to figure out. And that's what's great about this offense, too, is, is you can tweak it. And yeah. a little bit like the defense, you, you get your playmakers on the field wherever, wherever and however you can. So there's our practice report with Marcus Satterfield. We'll hear from Garrett McGuire coming up in hour number two. Uh, get his take on some of these things as well. And he's got some interesting comments that we'll run through in the second hour of the program. Well, right now, enjoy great value on outdoor power equipment from steel. From gas-powered blowers, chainsaws, and more, to high-performance pressure washers built to tackle the dirtiest jobs. Find yours at stihldealers.com. Available at participating dealers. All right, phone lines, text lines, they are wide open for you. 402-413-2400. Back with more of the show next. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Is your garbage disposal not disposing? You had one job. Drains backing up can cause a horrible smell in a home, damaged pipes, and so much more. Some signs that your garbage disposal may be going out include frequent clogs, abnormal and louder noises than normal, or water is leaking from the bottom, just to name a few. John Henry's is here to take care of all the pipes and drains in your home. Call today. 45 John Henry's Plumbing. Only in Nebraska will you find a historic, record-breaking event like Nebraska Volleyball Day to honor women's athletics. The University of Nebraska Foundation invites you to be a part of Only in Nebraska, a campaign for our university's future. Another historic, record-breaking effort to engage 150,000 donors to build the future Nebraska needs right now. It's all possible, and it's all happening here, Only in Nebraska. Give to support in you at onlyinnebraska.org. Meet water's bubblier and more energetic best friend, Bubbler Antioxidant Sparkling Water. With tons of flavors, there's one for every occasion. Interviewing for your dream job, hitting the beach, or going on an epic road trip? Pop the top on your favorite bubbler flavor and awesome antioxidant swoop in to balance your body and focus your mind. Right before a boost of natural caffeine shows up to save your day, there's a benefit in every bubble. And a happier you just waiting to rise up. Find out more at Drink Bubbler on Instagram. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. 
See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. We are back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you. A fresh week of sports nightlies here on the Huskers Radio Network. We are a week away from starting our coaches' radio shows. We'll have this year, we've flipped and flopped football and volleyball. We've had football on Thursdays, volleyballs on Tuesdays. They're going to change places so we'll have coach rural next tuesday night and john cook next thursday night so that's the way it'll be we'll have to adapt a little bit once we get to basketball season in november but that's going to be the and also our, our first trav alberts show of the new school year will be next wednesday night so the, we're a week away from all of that jumping and happening As cole mentioned this in the ticker the preseason ap top 25 poll came out today the two-time defending champion Georgia Bulldogs, no surprise, ranked number one. Michigan, who the Oscars will play at the end of September, are the number two ranked team in the country. Ohio State at three, followed by Alabama at four, and LSU at five. Any problems with the top five? That's pretty, pretty standard right there, it? Is isn't it is kind of shocking how quickly LSU turned things around. Good point. Ten and four last year, and you got them in the top five. USC... Your, one of your favorite teams, number six for the Trojans. I think they're going to be really good. I think they're flawed, but I don't know. There's a lot of teams on their schedule that can beat them. Yeah, I just I think the only thing is maybe people are mad at them and, and hand it to them a little bit, um, get a little fired up to play them. But I don't. I'm not going to be sold on USC until I see them stop somebody. <laughs> I think they got a heck of a quarterback. Yeah, they do. They do. But as long as they can't, as long as teams can just. Score with them, right? They're gonna have. Well, didn't they lost their bowl game? Tulane. Tulane beat them in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah, that's right. Penn State, who I think is sneaky good, uh, ranked seventh in the preseason AP poll. Uh, other Big Ten teams that are ranked. This one may get. Sh now Texas is at eleven. That was that caught my eye a little bit too. But some other Big Ten teams that are in the top twenty-five. Wisconsin is in there at number 19. I think that's a little high for a team coming off basically a 500 season last year, whole new coaching staff. And then Iowa sneaks in at number 25. That surprises me a little bit too. Um, yeah, because with uh, that was the Luke Fickle. They're, they're giving him the nod over Wisconsin. I know they have some talent coming back. They do. But, but to get it, give it to them in the preseason, you'd think they'd at least – watch him play a couple of games to see it come together. A little pressure on Tanner Mordecai to yeah. come in and instantly be really good. And he was pretty good at SMU. Uh, but, yeah, there's, they, they've got a lot, of, a lot of changes in Madison. So the Huskers will play uh, one, two. Uh, they'll play four ranked teams that are in the preseason top 25 throughout the season. So that came out early. Minnesota today. is receiving votes on the other one. I'm assuming they are the AP. Let me see. The coaches poll, they were. They were getting that my story here does not have who's who's past 25 
By the way, the AVCA, that's the official volleyball poll, comes out tomorrow. I'm going to say five for the Oscars. Number five. It's my guess. Yeah, four or five. I'll... I'd agree with you. I think and that's I, what JB said, too. And I think that's fair. I mean, this is a young team, um, not devoid of some experience because those juniors have played so much. But when you don't have a senior, you've got a lot of unproven players you're kind of counting on. Right. Yep, exactly. And there are some teams that do have that coming back. And so it's just hard to, you know, when you don't know, which is kind of what we're saying on the flip side of the, the, some of these football teams that you don't really know. I think maybe people are waiting to see what all is, is coming out there for Nebraska. How about Oklahoma? Sneaking in the preseason top 25. Number 20 for the Sooners. A sub, 500 team. They were six and seven a year ago. And they come in at number 20. Is that just it on name? It pretty bad at times, too. Is, is that just on name? I mean... I think a lot of these rankings are just on name in the preseason. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Well, folks, time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 402-413-2400. That's the number to be a part of the program with a call or a text. We're back to wrap up Hour 1 next. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide. Broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyvealesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. If unwanted hair is putting you in a prickly situation, give Laser Hair Removal a try. Milan Laser Hair Removal delivers smooth, hair-free skin with permanent results for men and women of all skin tones. So there's no more unwanted stubble, razor burn, or ingrown hairs. Visit any of Milan Laser's seven Nebraska locations to get one free treatment. Ready to never shave again? Call 833-NO-RAZOR or visit MilanLaser.com to book your free treatment and consultation. That's MilanLaser.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, Husker Nation. This is Jim Baldonado with the Home Agency. It's been a stormy summer, but that's why we do what we do. Whether auto, home, crop, farm, or commercial coverage, our agents shine when it comes to providing you with the best coverage and customer service after the sale. Our passion is keeping you protected so you can do more of what you love, like cheering on the Huskers. Give us a call today. Call home, the home agency that is, at 1-800-245-4241. That's 1-800-245-4241. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you Monday night. Sports Nightly here on the Oscars Radio Network, 402-413-2400, the number to be a part of the show with a call or a text. Sam in Omaha says, never doubt an upset Nick Saban. 
a little low for them, but they've kind of been human the last couple of years. They've been a team that has stubbed their toe a couple of times each of the last few seasons. Yeah, they have. I wonder if some of his uh, talk about kind of kind of staying old school a little bit might catch up with it, has caught up Could with him a little bit in recruiting. Could be. He's constantly out there pushing, you know, pushing his fan base to raise money because he remember was it last summer that he got into it with Jimbo Fisher at yes. AM said they're, they're buying guys down, mm -hmm. down yeah. there. Was it last year couple I can't remember but yeah I don't know that they um Georgia has caught up to him a little bit. Passed him I think in the last least yeah, couple years. True. Doug in Norfolk any of uh, your staff been following the Jim Harbaugh situation so Jim Harbaugh it's been presented that he should be suspended for four games he is into an appeal situation now and it looks like he will be able to stave that off for several months. So my guess is for the 23 football season that we're about to embark on, that he will not miss any games. So the initial thing we heard, and we heard it right around media days when we were in Indianapolis, was that it was going to be four games. Fifth game for them is the one here against the Oscars, but it sounds like he's going to push it to the off season and but try to appeal it. Now is it, though, where it's getting a little catty back and forth? Oh, sure it is. Yeah. Because they, they didn't cooperate. Michigan really didn't cooperate yeah. with the investigation. Well, then they're not supposed to talk about it. And then the NCAA talked about it, right? And so I wonder if he would have been just fine had, like, at what point did he not become fine with that four-game suspension? Because it sounded like he was fine, and then now all of a sudden he's not fine. Yeah. Um, man, I missed some conference realignment. <laughs> While I was gone. Holy cow. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. Pac 12's gone? Gone. Wow. Crazy. Night, what, 1915? Over 100 years, and it kind of just blown up. Right yeah, there. they're just terrible leadership. Well, in fact, it, it affected some of the BTN folks that were going to be here, right? Because they, they kept them in Chicago because they were hearing that Oregon and Washington were about to join the league. Dave didn't come out. No, did he? Dave wasn't here, just the, the two analysts, but. Um, yeah, it was, and it was weird too, because, which always happens at three line. It, there is news, then there wasn't news, then there is, and then all of a sudden, boom! Here, here it happens. Because on Friday morning, I think it's Friday morning, it was, it's not going to happen. Oregon and Washington are staying put, and then all of a sudden, by Friday afternoon, they're headed to the Big Ten. So um, crazy, pretty wild. I was reading something. I think it was Stuart Mandel wrote this article about just what went wrong with Pac-12. And you have to go back to the first realignment. And I think it was, remember, it was Oklahoma and Texas were thinking about going to the Pac-12. And right. the Pac-12 was like, we don't need them. And so then, yeah, it's, um, there just was bad decision after bad decision after bad decision made by the leadership of the Pac-12. I read today that, it, that ESPN had offered them 50 mil a year or so ago, and they turned it down. And then they just said, we're done. Yeah, that's not good enough for you. We're out. Well, and then now ESPN has so much money tied up in so many different things. that, And they're trying to get the NBA and all of that. So, yeah, just not good. Not good. Amy Just, who writes for the Lincoln Journal Star, had a lengthy piece yesterday. It was sit down with Trev Alberts. And in that story, Trev said, history is unkind to conferences that have not had the courage to expand. I don't believe it's done. It's never done. It's more likely that there will be continued periods of angst. I believe uh, that the next go round, that's my basic conclusion, will be far, this is scary in a way, far more disruptive than anything we've currently engaged in. We need to prepare ourselves mentally for that. Wow. That's ominous quote from wow. Oscar Athletic Director. Good piece. Well done by Amy Just of the Journal Star. Hour one, Woo, it's gone. We're back with hour two next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic.
From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm sports media student Connor Clark with Campus News. More than $145 million in gross revenue has been generated by startup companies founded by alumni of UNL's Angler Agribusiness Entrepreneurship Program since the program began in 2010. With over 230 Angler Program alumni growing businesses across Nebraska, the Angler Program is making a big impact on the lives of students, alumni, and Nebraskans. Discover new ways to purchase your next vehicle at Woodhouse Nissan. Right now, lease the 2023 Nissan Aria Engage four-wheel drive for $389 a month for 36 months. Visit us online today. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra, 10,000 miles per year, $19.99 down plus first payment. $299 doc fee, do it signing. Discount based on sale price of $44,735. Deal includes $1,000 Aria Engage four-wheel drive bonus Nissan cash rebate and $1,000 Aria loyalty bonus cash rebate. VIN number PM407668. Offer expires 731-2023. See dealer for details. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today.
Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. 17 days to kick off in Minneapolis, and after another fall camp practice this morning, offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield met with the media to review last Saturday's scrimmage in Memorial Stadium. Coach was asked about the quarterback Jeff Sims and how he performed over the weekend and where he's at in his game. Uh, steady. I mean, it was it his, his best day? It wasn't his best day, but it was far from his worst day. And, you know, the way Jeff does, he just goes about each day and just wakes up, has a strategy, attacks it, and gets better, tries to get better every single day. So he came back, you know, yesterday, got in the film room, had good meetings. Uh, he's, he's becoming such a, uh, a leader on our offense just from not just, you know, do what he does, but just a vocal leader as well. So come out today, had a, you know, attack today. So he's in a good spot. Keeping with college football, the preseason AP Top 25 poll has been revealed today. The back-to-back -back national champion Georgia Bulldogs hold on to the top spot in 2023, receiving 1,572 points. Following closely is Michigan, then Ohio State, Alabama, and LSU round out the top five. Other Big Ten schools making the poll are Penn State at 7, Wisconsin at 19, and Iowa sneaking into the 25th spot. In international Husker news today, it was announced that Nebraska men's basketball senior Keisei Tominaga was named to Japan's final 12-man roster for the upcoming FIBA World Cup. Tominaga has been training with the national team since June in preparation for the event, which begins on Friday, August 25th, and joins a handful of NCAA players on their national teams for the event. It will, be, it will mark the third straight World Cup that has featured a Husker basketball player as Ty Webster of New Zealand competed in the 2014 and 2019 editions of the Basketball World Cup. Also playing for their international team is men's hoops forward Rank Mast, who helped Netherlands improve to 1-1 one one at the FIBA Olympic pre-qualifying tournament. Mass totaled 8 points, 7 rebounds, and a steal in 17 minutes of work to help secure a 78-76 win over Belgium. Mast is averaging 8 points and 6.5 rebounds per game in the Netherlands' first two contests despite being the second youngest member on the 12-man roster. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour 2 of Sports Nightly, coming up next. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Two to the near side, one to the far side. Turn, give it off to Grant. He picks his way inside the 45, bounces to the outside. 40, 35, 40, foot race now. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back to Van Trees. Play actions. Gets hit as he throws. Pass headed down the end zone. Buford goes up and makes the interception at the one-yard line. Marquise Buford's second pick of the game, and it was created by some pressure on the quarterback, Van Trees. Red, fed left. Lindsay gets it through. They stay with it, and Krause muscles it through a double Buckeye block. Becca Williams, Spring Lake, Texas, serves back right. Nice pass, quick attack. Becca, Alec, big red, kaboom. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, how about a little basketball news in the ticker there? Pretty cool. Kase making some noise for the Japan national team. And not surprised at all. Good for him. It's gonna, uh, it'll be... Um, Really interesting to see how he comes back after missing a lot of time. But but it's also always so good for guys to get that opportunity. And Coach Hoiberg ha had talked to me about that right before they, they went on their overseas trip about how much he can learn and grow as a player, but how is he going to fit back in, which I, I don't think he'll have any problems. He's such a, a team guy, and they all love him. But um, it's, it's good for him that he gets this kind of opportunity. And rank mast as well. Doing good. So, yeah, uh, yeah it's great competition. Both those guys getting a chance to play for their countries, and there's no better honor than to be able to do that. I'm sure you're going to get up at like 4 a.m. to watch the continue the semifinals of the World Cup. I tonight. will not be. Cole, you up? You in? Not up. Spain and Sweden. You also missed quite a bit of drama with the Team USA. Oh, I was watching. I was watching. Woke up in the middle of the night to watch it. 
Were you mad that you did? Hey, there's, if there's a good match on the pitch, I don't generally miss it. Were you mad that you tuned up to watch it um, and after that performance? That, t that team... I didn't think they were going to win it. I didn't either. I thought going. I didn't think they were playing real well in some of their pre-cup matches. There was an air about that team that was kind of unlikable in a way about them. So, I, I don't know. They, they only scored one goal in their last... One goal within a... In their last three matches, they had the 1-1 one, one tie, then they had the 0-0 zero, zero tie, and then they 0-0 zero, zero and lose on PKs. They said couldn't find any offense. Yeah, look, I'm not an expert and on soccer by any means, but you can watch a team and kind of get a sense for how much they want it versus other teams. And it just, I, you know, the World Cup is so huge, and it means so much to teams to go play in it. And it's, it's like Team USA didn't have that really com big passion about it anymore. It's like the passion to win that thing was not, just completely not evident with yeah. this Team USA. There wasn't a spark about them, and it was pretty, boy, and the, the, the Fox commentators were hard on them. They yeah. really were. Carly Lloyd, and we talked about that, I think, before I left, how she was really hard on them, former member of that team. So uh, Spain, Sweden, they play overnight. And then if you, you know, if you wake up at 6 or 6 or in the morning tomorrow, you should be able to see part of the second one which is England and Australia. Australia, the host country, uh, they've had some huge crowds for their match. So the Women's World Cup down to the semifinal round. All right, uh, hour one, we played you some Marcus Satterfield as he met with the media today. Also, stepping in front of the microphone was Garrett McGuire, the Husker wide receivers coach, and obviously was asked about uh, the fact that now Xavier Betts no longer part of the team, and Marcus Washington right now sidelined with an injury. Uh, what's that receiver room look like? Yes, sir. You know, I'm, I'm excited because of the amount of reps we're getting. You know, we're splitting two fields. Um, Coach Roll has done an amazing job with the practice schedule. Um, so you're seeing some young guys really, really develop. Uh, you know, the, the early ones are Jalen Lloyd, Malachi Coleman, Jaden Dawes, Bryce, uh, and Jeremiah. They're having a really, really good camp. Um, and then we're kind of seeing uh, Alex Bullock burst onto the scene a little bit, Ty Hahn, um, IGC, Billy Kemp. Uh, Josh Fleeks, you know, uh, the guys in that room um, are, are RDV guys and, and guys we want to go win with. That's why you have to attack it. Okay, one guy's gone. You still have five, six other wide receivers that should be capable to go help your team. Absolutely. And, and so for some of these young guys, like we saw in the spring, look at Prince Will and Cam Linhart. The mm -hmm. opportunities they were able to get because of the injuries really set them up to be in the position where they're going to be contributors. And, and so this is a great opportunity for some of these players that might not have otherwise had the opportunity or some of these young players that might have had to sit back and wait a little bit of time. No, no, now we need you now. Uh, let's see what you can do. And sounds like a, uh, quite a few of them are stepping up to the, rising to the challenge. No doubt Billy Kemp is the number one guy. I mean, he's such a stellar career in Virginia. Oscar's got him through the transfer portal. Coach McGuire was asked, how essential has Billy Kemp been for this group? Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to talk about the on-the-field stuff, um, but it's more impressive when you talk about the off-field stuff. You're talking about a guy that's in his sixth year. He's caught about 182 balls uh, in college. Um, and you talk about just um, his pre-practice habits, uh, how much he's in there in the training room, how he fuels his body. Right, He's gained uh, about 17 pounds since he got here. Um, in December, which is just a testament to, hey, I want to change my body and, uh, and be a bigger football player. Um, and so once the, once the young guys can see how he works off the field, I think that's the biggest part about BK. And a single-digit guy. How about that? Yeah. Um, not really surprising at all. At every single press conference, no matter the coach, gets up there and says something really good about Billy Kemp. So... He's taking care of business, and it's uh, he's leading, and um, you know the he's just got voted up by the by the guys because of that effort. That he's, when do we when do we get the next batch? Do you think? I was told they might vote on it this over the weekend, and I think it'll be soon. Okay. I think it'll be three, maybe three, and then those three. were no doubters in, yeah. in my mind. Maybe you and Jeremiah had a different take, but in my mind, when those came out, I'm like, that, that, that's exactly who I would have said. Now it gets a little different. I'm not sure who the next three or four are going to be. They say uh, it's always kind of um, interesting how, yeah. how it unfolds, that there might be guys that are re really, really close to getting on the first batch of them, and then um, you might not see as close. But uh, I, 
I don't know. I mean, I think a guy like Quentin Newsom could Probably. maybe be one Ty of those Robinson, guys. Robinson, maybe. Yeah, um, they did say Ethan Piper was honorary since he can't wear. Right. And I don't. I don't think you think Ty will change. I don't know that he would change. Okay. You, you can, he could wear a single. Yeah, digit. but I don't think he will. I don't know. Maybe he will. I would think he would be in the running for this next match. That's a great question for you folks. 402-413-2400. Who do you think the next, say, three guys are that will earn single-digit numbers? All right, we'll wrap it up with, with Coach McGuire with this. We, they had the scrimmage Saturday. Yesterday was an off day, and back at it today, uh, he was asked about the off day. And as a coach, does it make you nervous when you're not around your guys for a day? The day off, you know, always usually scares you as a coach, right? You know, because they guys tend to kind of relax a little bit. Um, but the, the challenge for them in this week is even though they're at home, their preparation still has to stay the same. They got to go to bed at the same hour. They need to make sure they're still getting up at the same hour. Because obviously, um, when you're at when you're at home, it's a lot more comfortable, kind of getting a little 30 minutes extra sleep in the morning. But the challenge is, hey, go home and um, you know get back up here, get in the tubs, and, and recover. Recover. That board has been so big. Jabari Butler really went on and on about that's been a huge change for him that's helped him feel better up to this point than he has in the past. But, yeah, I think they, they, this group is locked in, and obviously a few of them came up here even when they weren't didn't have to yesterday. Um, so I, um, I think that they're, they're trying to take care of business and they're bought in to, to the messaging that this coaching staff is putting in place. So those are some of the highlights of Coach McGuire's conversation with the, the media after practice earlier today. I misspoke on the timing of the Sweden-Spain. It's 3 o'clock, so Cole's probably just getting home at 3 o'clock, so he'd be <laughs> right, right, right there to watch that thing. And then Australia-England's at 5. I was right on that one. So if you get up at 6, 6.30, you can watch the end of that uh, match in Australia and England. All right, 402-413-2400. That's our sports nightly hotline. Brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. We're back to play a snippet of the newest podcast. John and Lauren Cook kicking back with the Cooks. We'll have it for you coming up next. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Hit the road this summer in a brand new SUV from Woodhouse. Offering 19 top rated brands with the latest technology, functional cargo space, and safety features that will give you the confidence behind the wheel of every journey. Visit woodhouse.com to shop our new and pre-owned inventory or visit one of our conveniently located dealerships to find the SUV for your summer adventures. Your trusted auto partner since 1975. This is Woodhouse. If you're an unconditional, wholehearted, and ever so loyal Husker fan, you deserve to pay like one everywhere you go with the free FNBO Husker Visa debit card. Fuel your fandom all season and beyond with a debit card just for you. It's free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. 
Get your free Husker Visa debit card at any branch or at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates may apply and may vary by carrier. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast, 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Things that impair you come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are the shape of beer and liquor bottles. Others look like cigarettes but aren't cigarettes at all. These are the things we know impair us, the things our parents warned us about. What we're not always aware of is our new prescription or the over-the-counter medicine we picked up just for allergies or a bad cold. See, it doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If you are impaired, driving is deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We are back inside of our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night. Also, I don't know if it's been put out yet, but it's maybe momentarily away from the latest edition of the Kicking Back with the Cooks podcast. Lauren and John, uh, in this edition, talked about the upcoming season and getting their camp underway. And uh, also kind of looking back at the breakfast controversy that hit the athletic department a few weeks ago. <laughs> so we'll let you listen in to John and Lauren. Well, sticking with uh, chatting about volleyball, in last month, you hosted Dream Team Camp can you tell us how that went and um, just your overall assessment of, of another year of Dream Team Camp? Yeah, the Dream, the Dream Team Camp has really become a big deal, um, but I'll, I'll share, it was the strongest Dream Team Camp we've ever had. And, I, I, and Brent Wagner 
keeps that saying, well, you say that every year. Well, it, it's getting better and better every year. I mean, the talent level is increasing. That's why you're going to see so many great college volleyball teams, because the talent level is just exploding, and there's a lot of great players now. And, of course, they're getting spread out to, to all the different programs. So uh, really, really impressed with the talent level. And here's the other thing that happened that I've never had this happen before after Dream Team, but almost every one of those Dream Team uh, campers that came to the camp uh, wrote a thank you note. And I thought, uh -huh. wow, I wonder, is this a new trend? Is this a new thing with this generation? But they all have the attitude of gratitude, which we're always trying to teach our players to have the attitude of gratitude. But my, my desk was just stacked with all these thank you cards. And, and then some of them even mentioned some of the things that we did in camp, how much they enjoyed it. And you know, we did a thing about positive talk, self-talk and pointed that out to them. And several of them mentioned that. So um, pretty cool. And it just shows we're, we're building a great connection with those recruits. And they're having a great time. If they're taking the time and they're busy scheduled to write a note, I think that is uh, pretty special. And it shows that they're loving camp and we're doing a really good job in that camp. Tell us about, we have two days coming up. I, by the time this airs, you may already have started two days, but I just want to know what the schedule looks like this year. I know it's a little different every year. Are you doing, you know, two practices one day, one practice the next day, or have you totally softened up and you're just doing one a days now? But talk us through what kind of the next couple weeks look like before, or I guess leading up to the red-white scrimmage and then that opening weekend of play. Yeah, well, I'll, this will be a confession and a lesson right here. You know, what's frustrating for me is, as a coach is we start on August 8th. Football plays a week after us. They, they started last Monday, which was August 1st uh, or July 31st. So our window, I'm, I'm sharing that because, one, I think it's ridiculous, and soccer's in the same thing we are. Football gets us all this time, plus they get to practice with the coaches in the summer eight hours a week or, or whatever it is. Uh, so we have this window we just get crammed into, and we basically have two weeks and we're playing. So it's, it's hard, and you gotta, as a coach, you've got to really try to balance it, that you don't do too much with them, but you've got to also try to do a lot with them. So there's always the balance of that, and I just feel like it goes so fast, and, and we run out of time, and we really don't get the proper time, I think, to really prepare a team to play high level. So that's why weekend one in college volleyball is always pretty wild. Uh, but we are meeting, um, actually, Lauren, you don't know this, but uh, we're going um, to Casa Bavina, which is a, a really good restaurant in Lincoln, really high end. And it's, they serve Piedmontese beef there. And we're going to do a promotion for uh, the beef council, beef industry with our team there. They're, they're hosting us out there. And, and so we're, it'll be on social media and stuff. You guys can follow it. Uh, it's all approved. So, you know, we'll just get that out of the way. So Nick doesn't have to edit this out. Uh, and, but... So that's something we're going to do and take them to a really nice area. So that's going to kind of start off, and then the next day we have meetings and so on and get organized, and then, you know, you know the routine. Everybody comes in, the compliance people, the nutrition people, everybody comes in and kind of just says, hey, here's the plan, here's what we're doing. So we just get everybody organized, uh, and then we, we start training. And, of course, those are long days. They're two-a-days, practice in the morning, practice in the afternoon, then meeting and video at night. And... Um, so we're, it's, it's a grind for two weeks, and then um, uh, we're going to do um, the Rococo Theater on August 12th. We're doing the Nebraska Greats, and Jordan and Kelsey and Justine are all coming back, and that they're having a big event that night to celebrate volleyball kind of a, as, a, as a precursor to the Nebraska Volleyball Day in the stadium. So we'll, go, we'll take the team to that, and then... Um, we got the red-white game where we're going to do a meet and greet in the morning, which will be two hours of signing autographs. Uh, so um, that'll be our fan day or whatever. And uh, like I said, it goes really fast. It's really busy. And then the next thing you know, we start school and we're playing matches. And if fans who are listening to this want autographs, they need to come 
I believe it's on the 19th is when the red white scrimmage is, but they need to come that morning because that's the only time you'll you and the team will be signing autographs this season, correct? That's correct. That's where we've got to get it done in one shot because uh, we have we just don't have the time after matches anymore to do it. So this is our one shot to do it, and I think our people are making something for us to sign. I think we'll unveil our posters, but there'll be handouts at that. And uh, uh, again, I don't. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, Lauren. It'll be after the red white game, I think. So it'll be after the red white game that we sign. So, so yeah, ask Lindsay all those questions. I, I may mix it up here, but anyway, we're we could be signing with 8,000 people, so it's a pretty big deal and. Um, uh, that's, uh, like I said, it goes really fast and it's busy and, um, so anyway, that's the, that's the plan. Confession and lesson. Okay. You already told me what my confession was. I just gave you the confession and lesson is football, football gets more time than we do. Oh. Le the yeah. confession is, uh, I'm actually tonight, uh, I was asked to go speak to the football team. So I've put together a PowerPoint. I'm going to have those guys going through the roof. So uh, I'm pretty fired up. I put together a PowerPoint for them. I'm going to go share some things. And um, anyway, I'm honored to be able to do it. And Coach Rule asked me to speak to the team. And, and so I got some cool stuff I'm going to share with them. Well, if you're chatting with the football team, they'll be winning a national championship by the end of the season. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I just I hope I, I can get them one yard better. But uh, <laughs> we'll have fun, and uh, that'll be an honor to do that. Coach Rule and his staff is great. They're, they got an awesome vibe around their program, and, and uh, a lot of those guys really love football. I peeked my head in the other day at practice. Some of them, and you're not, they don't want anybody in practice, and a couple of guys already started coming over talking. <laughs> So, uh, you're, you're, you're living your best life in that football bubble. Yeah, but Lauren, you heard about the, the little incident over breakfast. Did you see that? No. Lauren Stiverns tweet? No, tell us. Tell so, us more. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, so football kind of went on, finished. The training table's been open for the athletes. It closed, I, I'm going to say, July 25th or something like that. And so football then had, catered meals brought in. Well, we just gave our players money uh, because training tables closed. Well, Lauren Stiverance, the first day, they're all at the landing, which you know, and here's football's got this catered meal, and she sends a picture out. Uh, hey, what's up, what's up with volleyball? Because we're all working out together at the same time, and why doesn't volleyball get breakfast? Well, they got money, but uh, we have a little bit different rules, so we weren't sure we could even do that, so it's never happened, as you know. And usually, you know, training table hasn't even been open in the summer. So this is like really new and it was great. I ate there several times this summer for breakfast at the training table. And it's awesome. They do a great job. And we're lucky to have that uh, for the athletes in the summer that are training here. Uh, so anyway, Lauren tw tweets this thing out like, so next day we get it all worked out and then we get we get something for our players, but the next day, you know, they're having breakfast with Coach Rule, <laughs> so so that that was a big hit and really cool deal by him, and it just shows you the, I think the the most important thing in that was, uh, it just shows you the camaraderie that we have with the athletes and the coaches here in in, in sports, especially between volleyball and football, and we've always tried to have that, but that was pretty cool, and I also noticed he was tweeting out some pictures, you know. With the guns out uh, in the stadium, he was down there when our players were working out in the stadium, and he must have been down there and sent some pictures out. So we've had a lot of fun. As you remember, I took him to the rodeo, and, and, um, and so now I get a good chance get to spend some time with him tonight. Very cool. There's the explanation, though, about yeah. Breakfast Gate. But yeah. um, it is. It's, it's uh, really neat, the camaraderie and how Coach always said that from the start, that he's really been trying to go out. He took them out to the exhibition soccer game. They all went out there while you were gone. Um, the whole team did. And I know that just means so much to these teams to have that kind of support. They're knee-deep into the camp. And then Saturday is the red-white scrimmage. We will have the broadcast for you here on the network. We have expanded our pregame show for Husker Volleyball this year. Not a 30-minute pregame, but a one-hour pregame. So more JB 
and Lauren Cook coming your way, and we'll, we'll start that one-hour pregame on Saturday. We're also going to add to your duties. You're going to do a volleyball podcast during the season. I am. We should be uh, recording the next or the first one, the debut episode next week. Um, we're going to rotate between all of the assistant coaches, so Great. we don't get to hear a lot from them. So this will be fun to really get to sit down and, and have a lengthy, extensive conversation with all the assistant coaches and um, dive into all things volleyball. I, you know, with the sideline slice, felt like there was something like that that was needed for volleyball. So we're gonna we're gonna try to provide it for folks. Well, Coach Cook, Coach Cook loves the radio show, so he doesn't miss many where you can have a Jalen or a Kelly Hunter come in and do it. So this is great that they're going to have a chance to be exposed a little bit. Yeah, and we'll have kicking back with the cooks still, but it's just once yeah. a month. And sometimes even during the busy times, it's hard for them to get in. And so we wanted to provide a weekly podcast that was volleyball centered that this is going to hopefully fill that void a little bit. I'm excited about it. Fantastic. Coach Cook mentioned that uh, when he spoke to the football team, he was going to be ra raising the roof. We've got some news about a roof. We'll tell you that when we come back. Woodhouse Chevy is making car buying better now with two convenient locations in Missouri Valley, Iowa, and our newest location in Omaha at 112th and Dodge. Plus, going on now, receive up to $6,000 off MSRP on the 2023 Chevy Silverado. Visit us in store or online anytime to shop our current offers and inventory. Find new roads with Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley and now in Omaha. With blue credit, see dealer for details on Expire 731 2023. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, man, huddle up. Look, we're playing one of the best football teams in the country today, and quite frankly, we don't have a chance against these guys. Let's face it, we're going to get slaughtered out there. But the good news is that the Nebraska Lottery has scratch and lotto prizes that any one of us could win. Yeah! After the game, we're taking the team bus to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer to see if we can win big. Let's go! So let's get out there and lose with pride. The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. 
More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS. SOS. Dear roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime they've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you here on a Monday night. Talked about raising the roof uh, at the end of the last segment. They have the new Go Big project is still under construction, but the roof now has a nice color to it. Yes, that happened while you were gone. They removed, Cole sat there and watched when they peeled the stuff off of it. And it's red. And it's red. Beautiful. And he said it was really fascinating. What, did, what word did you use? It was satisfying. Satisfying. Yeah, satisfying yes. to see him peel that off yeah, and cool. unveil the, the red. It's coming along. Probably not fast enough in some people's <laughs> books, but I know. Um, it, I've also, when I walked back to practice the other day, you can see a lot of the work that's being done with the tunnel and just on the back side of it as well. So I know it'll, I know a lot of people want it to be ready now, but it'll be here soon enough. Which is going to be probably a dilemma. When, when does the team move? When do they go in there? I mean, they don't want to be disruptive to a game week. Maybe you wait for the bye week in mid October to make the move over there and have coaches switch offices or whatever, but you don't want it to disrupt the team and their preparations at all. So that's going to be something they'll have to have to deal with uh, moving forward. Um, this is the 100th anniversary of Memorial Stadium, and the athletic department has a book that's coming out, and I think it's available this week, the 100 years. Yeah. You got an advanced copy. I did. I saw the advanced copy. Uh, I think stay tuned. More details coming out tomorrow on that. But, yes, it's really cool. It's a really great. be a nice coffee table book for Christmas people. gift, a yeah. uh, birthday gift for people coming up. So look for some information. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot of work put and went into this book. Yes, yeah, and it's um, – so neat all the pictures from throughout the stadium see and getting to go back and see what it looked like at the beginning and so it's um you know you when you start talking about history and and researching that a lot of times the stuff that's way far back is really hard to find and so here is one that really shows all the different stages and all the really big moments inside memorial stadium so it's it's really cool you know this stadium has hosted several concerts they had a farm aid event here back in the 70s or 80s garth was here a couple of years ago, obviously the volleyball day in Nebraska is coming up in a few weeks. 
How about Iowa copying the Huskers? They've moved a women's basketball exhibition game. They're going to play it at Kinnick in late October. Wow. Now, that could get a little dicey for that. Hmm. But trying to take advantage of Caitlin Clark and the, the explosion of uh, interest in that program because of her. So they're going to play an exhibition game in their football stadium in late October. Wow. Who are they playing? Do we know? DePaul. DePaul. That'll be pretty good. Yeah, and I'm sure it's I'm sure it's going to go for some cause. I'm sure it's going to be one of those charity type games. I don't know what the cause is, but um, how big's our stadium? Seventy. Uh, but boy, late October. Yeah. Boy, I, you don't know about that. Oh, I know. It could be snow going on. Uh, have the tickets gone on sale yet? I don't know if they've done that. They did announce today they've sold out their arena for women's their season. Which not she's, surprising. She's yeah. the hot. She's she's one of the hottest things in college sports. She just is, like her or not. And I'm not a big 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 fan, but she is. I mean, she. You have to appreciate what she's done, and it's there are so many videos now of following her and her routine and what she does, and you have to respect the amount of work that she puts in on her game. And so. But yeah, same. I, I understand that there's a lot of people that don't like watching, but she's done a lot of good things for the game, and it's brought a lot of attention on the game. And I, I also heard too that um, Patty Gasso was pretty seriously trying to figure out if there was a way softball could play inside the football stadium at Oklahoma. So it might we might see this trend now. Yeah, it could. We'll see. And, and and who said it? Yeah, right Nebraska here. did. Yeah, right here. There's not a lot of teams that could pull that off but the f ones that could i mean like maybe yukon women's basketball i would think tennessee maybe yeah tennessee so uh, not tennessee softball but when tennessee was rocking they probably could have could have done something like that and they're further south so the weather would be a little yeah. better for them i, I boy I, I think it's october the 20th i was going to do that you got more bad days than good days by then i mean so then maybe they'll get lucky and have that uh, have that happen. Hey, folks, if problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment. Just help. Visit lifeafterbet.com. Did you catch this story that popped up a couple of hours ago? Remember the movie The Blind yes. Side? What a great story The Blind Side was about this young guy who was growing up in poverty and this wealthy family adopts him and brings him in and they made a movie out of it sandra bullock was in there tim mcgraw was in there uh then he went on to play at, at ole miss and a terrific career in the national football league he is now saying that the family this is michael orr saying that the family tricked him and that they never adopted him but they put him under some kind of gardener conservative ship conservatorship that allows them to profit off of the money he's made as an NFL player. This is unbelievable. This is popping up now. And, and supposedly he didn't make any money off the movie, but the the two, the husband, wife, and their two kids did. And I saw a tweet coming out that uh, someone found the legal documents that it was a conservatorship and not an adoption. So it was not an adoption. Yeah. So. Wow. Doesn't look very good. I mean, so and, and he. Uh, it sounded like what he had said, well, first of all, the movie didn't correctly depict. He didn't feel he was actually really smart. It made it seem like he wasn't smart. It, it, it made it sound like he didn't play football till he started living with that family. He had played football before and was starting to get recruited. And so that's now what allegedly that is coming out is that his family knew that they he was going to have a, a really good career, but that what really hurt him there's a lot of things that hurt him throughout the years but what really was the straw that broke the camel's back was that he well that really hurt him the most was that he wasn't actually ever adopted when he that's thought he crazy. was yeah yeah that's crazy he, here he was he thought this was their his adopted family and was so appreciative of that family and then come to find out that it never was it was a conservatorship Ugh. Which I learned a lot about that through the Britney Spears saga. Oh, she you did? You follow that? that? Yeah, the I free followed Britney. that very closely. I'm sure you, you did. To West Point, Oscar Dan, you're up on Sports Nightly. Hey, how are you two doing tonight? Fantastic. Great, great. Glad, glad you're back with us, Greg. <laughs> Good to be back. Anyway, yeah, I talked to Jessica about this a little while ago about the 
Tom Osborne documentary day by day. Did you and go see it? And I told her, no, uh, this is what I'm calling calling about. It's like we, it was, you know, our theater tried to get it, and there's agents involved and, and a lot of red tape, I guess. And I know they're showing it in Lincoln, but come to find out, we got it this weekend. We're going to show it Friday, Saturday, Sunday in West Point oh, at great. our theater. So Great. Yeah, so can you kind of uh, – can you guys kind of tell us about it a little bit? I know Jessica, you said you didn't know a whole lot about it yet. Well, we had the, um, we had the producer on a year or so ago on the show. He's actually a guy yeah. who lives in Colorado, and he was a Colorado fan growing up. But he admired Tom Osborne and the Nebraska team, and so he he, he goes through you know kind of coach's career, but uh, focuses on that terrific run in the '90s. So I think you're going to enjoy everybody that has seen it. And I have not seen it, but everybody that has that I know enjoyed it. So I think if you can get to it, I think you should go see it. Yeah, me and a couple other guys, we've been calling all of our buddies and anybody that's a Husker fan, we've been telling them to, we need to pack this thing, and and uh, I think we're going to get it done. Good. Dan, always good to hear from you. Thanks for the phone call. So, yeah, I'm glad to hear that they're getting that out in some of the rural communities. They showed it in Lincoln at the Rococo Theater. I think they showed it a few times up in Omaha, but I'm glad they're getting it out into the – and I think there's an issue, right, with uh, producing, like, the DVD copy or, or iTunes or something like that. I think that's right. And so that you can only see it live, and that's why it, it was uh, really a hot ticket the last time around. I, sh I have totally forgot to get more information on that about um, if, there, if there's a DVD copy or not. I'm not sure. I don't think there is yet. I think they're trying to do it. Mean, it was, I think, last August or July we had the producer on when that thing first popped out. and. Yeah, and, and he said there's a lot of, I remember talking to him, and he's saying there's a lot of stories, too, that, that didn't make the cutting room floor. That yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of, lot of great stuff, great information there in that, in that. Folks, buckle up. Put the phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. All right, when we come back, weekend winners. Looking forward to this. Next. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. <laughs> Allergy season is officially here. Your home should be a place where you can escape dust, pollen, and other allergens. But every time you enter your home, you bring them inside. John Henry's offers numerous products to remove allergens and germs from your home. Call John Henry's today to learn more about our indoor air quality products to breathe easier in your home. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and have been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Nebraska Athletics. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, 
Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! Back inside our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres is the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you here on a Monday night. Mark on our text line says that uh, Day by Day is, go- is set to drop on Apple TV at the end of the month. So if you have Apple TV, you're going to be able to see that. And that jogged your memory that, that was they were battling to get one of those services to, yeah, it, to it's, have it. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a long process and to get things on iTunes and Apple and all of that so I do remember that because we had a lot of people that weren't going to be able to go to the theaters, theaters and so we were trying to figure out what would be a way that people that weren't at the around the theater to be able to do that so that's good that's good great, great. news that it's going to be coming out so if you missed it in the theaters you will be able to see it I soon. get Apple that's where Ted Lasso is on Apple TV is there a new season out of that I have yeah, not watched it Ted came Lasso. out in March or the third season. All right, weekend winners. What's on your mind here? Uh, I'm going first. I am going to go with Trey Palmer. I don't know where I read. Remember, we had talked about this, about how he's doing, and there was somewhere that said that maybe he had a little bit of a slower start, but does, <laughs> sounds like he's picked it up uh, quite a bit and actually caught a pass while we were on the air the other day, a uh, touchdown pass, but he w- caught all four passes that went his way in the preseason game, and I saw somewhere where today he's moving in and he's working out at wide receiver one. Ooh. And a uh, coach has asked him about it. He said he got overlooked in the draft, and I'm glad we got him. Fantastic. Good news. Yeah, great they for him. They might have got a steal because he was late in the draft. He did not go yeah, very high. Yeah, he fell high. and fell after he ran the, the fast 40 time and kind of surprising. But, hey, he's making a name for himself there. Just the to Bucks. build on that, Garrett Nelson had a sack in a preseason game. Uh, Travis Vokalek had a catch. So some Adrian the, Martinez, I think, played he's, well. He scored a touchdown, yeah, for yeah. the Lions. So. And I, I heard Samori Toure still killing it. Doing great. Green Bay. He's working with the ones for the Packers right now. So some former Huskers doing, doing some good things in the NFL right now. All right, Cole, what do you have? Although my uh, alma mater was Southwest High School here in Lincoln, Lincoln East Legion Baseball, they just made it. Uh, today they beat a team from uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and made it to the American League Legion uh, World Series Finals. So they, I think they play that game tomorrow. But and I think it's on ESPN U. It was on. They were on ESPN U so. today. Impressive nice. feat. Yeah, good for them. You know, a couple years ago we had a team, a team from Kearney or Hastings, one of those places that uh, had a team that did a deep run in one of those postseasons for the U. So good luck to them. That's great. Um, well, you guys took. I had three winners. You two, guys two. took one and two. So I gotta go. I gotta dig down to three. And I shouldn't say dig down because this is great. And I, eleven Huskers got their degrees in the summer commencement over the weekend at, at uh, uh, PBA. And so congratulations to all of them, including IGC, who we, you talked to today, uh, Maddie Kroll, who's not been in college that long. She got her degree, Husker women's player. So congratulations to all of them. Uh, who picked up their degrees. All the graduates, but for the 11 student-athletes, congratulations to all of them. Yeah, and Isaiah took a pretty big uh, load to be able to graduate, too. And, um Took care of business and said it was really special. His family was got to come down from California. Good to be back with you, and we're back tomorrow night. We'll have another practice report. Head coach Matt Rule will talk to the media tomorrow. We'll recap tomorrow night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Only in Nebraska will you find a historic, record-breaking event like Nebraska Volleyball Day to honor women's athletics. The University of Nebraska Foundation invites you to be a part of Only in Nebraska, a campaign for our university's future. Another historic, record-breaking effort to engage 150,000 donors to build the future Nebraska needs right now. It's all possible, and it's all happening here, only in Nebraska. Give to support in you at onlyinnebraska.org. To win the game, you got to have more strength. You got to be tougher. You got to be reliable. You got to want it more than the other guy. 
and you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Husker fans, we need your support in celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium while cheering on the Huskers this fall. Purchase an all-new Husker football Big Ten three-game package today for only $100. This package gets you a ticket to the Northwestern, Purdue, and Maryland home games, all for just $100. A very limited amount of Husker football single-game tickets are also on sale. Tickets are only available while supplies last. Purchase yours today at huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red! Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide. Broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar